Welcome to a lesson on area. Area is a two-dimensional measurement that represents the amount of space inside a two-dimensional shape. To find area, we count the number of unit squares inside the shape. If there are units, include units in the final result, units will always be two-dimensional, meaning square units. For example, square feet, square yards, square miles, and so on. As an example, let's find the area of a five foot by six foot section of lawn modeled by this rectangle. The length of this side is five feet, the length of this side is six feet. Notice to count the number of unit squares it would take to cover the lawn, we can cut this rectangle horizontally into five equal size parts or pieces, and then cut it vertically into six equal size parts or pieces. By doing this, notice how it shows the number of square feet it takes to cover the lawn. There are a total of 30 squares inside the rectangle, where each square is one square foot, and therefore the area is 30 square feet. Let's look at some more examples. For these first two examples, we will count the number of unit squares inside the shape, and also determine the area using an area formula. So first we have a three unit by three unit square. The area equals the number of square units that will fit inside the square. So because we have a three by three square, let's cut the square vertically into three equal size parts or pieces, and also cut it horizontally into three equally sized parts or pieces. Notice by doing this, we can see there are a total of nine square units inside the square, which is the area of the square. The area equals nine square units. We can also use the area formula a equals s times s, or a equals s squared, to determine the area of a square, where a equals area, and s equals the length of one side. So using the formula, we would have the area a equals, s is three units, so we'd have three squared, which equals nine, and the units again are square units. Next we have a rectangle. To count the number of square units inside the rectangle, because this length is six meters, we will cut the rectangle into six equally sized parts or pieces vertically. And then because this length is three meters, we will also cut the rectangle horizontally into three equally sized parts or pieces. Notice by doing this, we can now count the number of square meters inside the rectangle. We have six, 12, 18 square meters inside the rectangle, which tells us the area is 18 square meters. Instead of writing out square meters, we can also write m squared for square meters. Two common formulas to determine the area of a rectangle are a equals l times w, where a is the area, l is the length, and w is the width, or a equals b times h, where again, a is the area. It doesn't matter which formula we use. Using the first formula, we'd have area a equals, the length is typically the longer length, in this case, six meters, times the width, which is three meters. Six times three equals 18, and the units again are square meters. Let's look at two more examples. Here we have a circle. The area formula for a circle is a equals pi r squared, where a is the area and r is the radius. So looking at the circle, notice how we are not given the radius. We are given the diameter is nine inches. Well, the radius, is equal to the diameter divided by two. So the radius is equal to nine inches divided by two. Let's write this as nine halves inches. And therefore the area A is equal to pi times the square of nine halves. To square a fraction, we square the numerator and square the denominator. Nine squared is 81, two squared is four. And therefore the area is 81 fourths pi and the units are square inches. So this is the exact area of the circle. It's common to also determine a decimal approximation for the area of a circle by approximating the value of pi. And we'll do this using the calculator. Often 3.14 is used to approximate pi, but this calculator has a pi key, which will give us a better approximation for pi. So using the pi key, we'd have in parentheses 81 fourths, and then times pi. On this calculator, the pi key is second, and then the caret for the exponent. 
enter. If we round to the hundredths place value, here we see the area is approximately 63.62 square inches. But I also want to approximate the area by using 3.14 for pi. So if we enter 81 fourths in parentheses, and then times 3.14, notice how we don't get quite the same value. Here we get approximately 63.59 square inches. So if your directions say to use 3.14 for pi, you would round this value, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this value here, which is more accurate because when we use pi on the calculator, it's actually using this value here to approximate pi rather than just 3.14. So we'll say the area is approximately 63.62 square inches. For the last example, we were asked to determine the area of a triangle. The area formula for a triangle is A equals one half times B times H, where B is the base and H is the height. So for this triangle, the base is 10 feet and the height is five feet. So the area is equal to one half times the base of 10 feet times the height of five feet. Well, one half times 10 is five, five times five is 25, and therefore the area is 25 square feet. Exactly 25 square feet will fit inside the triangle. I hope you found this helpful.